today we're gonna be teaching you guys how you can create this viral Zach King map image projection illusion. Let's go. What's up guys, my name is Devin Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how you can create this viral illusion effect from the one and only Zach King. Zach King, seriously, props to you Zach King. One of the best video effects magician out there. This map illusion effect is just a really dope trippy effect that just overall really looks cool and would be a dope video to share with your friends and family. And best yet, it's super simple to recreate. Today, all you'll be needing is After Effects. No special effects or plugins required. But before we hop into the tutorial, if you guys are looking to spice up your video effects and add some extra elements that just take your effects the next level definitely make sure to check out our store at 11%.net there we seriously spill all the vfx sauce on how to create some dope effects for your videos there we have preset packs ranging from title card presets all the way to 3d chrome overlay presets and paint animation effects there's just a super dope vast range of effects and presets that you can apply and best yet they're super easy to use seriously these presets help save me so much time and it's really one of the best investments any video editor can ever make all right guys so the first thing that you want to do before you even start editing is make sure that you record a video of yourself obviously trying to fake that you have this little like map distortion effect on your surface on your table your desk whatever surface you're mapping this image onto now the first thing you want to do is make sure that you record with a very very high shutter speed so this basically means that you're gonna have as little motion blur as possible now I'm shooting on an iPhone I really don't have that much control over what I'm shooting with but I can actually lower the ISO which will help increase the amount of shutter speed that I have so that's a really nice simple tip that you can increase the shutter speed or there's also camera camera apps on your iPhone that you can use that you can go ahead and just manually adjust the shutter speed. Now, once you have a really high shutter speed, you're going to want to go ahead and record your video and make sure you have a nice surface with a couple of little noticeable points that you can easily track this image onto. So you can see right here in my clip, I have a couple of little items like right here, I have a little dice, a coin, and then a little clip and then another paper clip over here. So these are these four points that we're going to be tracking in After Effects. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, film yourself, place your item, whatever on your desk and then what you're gonna do is you swipe the item out the first time around and like you know move your hand real quick and push it out the way and then the second time around just like try to grab it and be like what the heck it's not there and then you could go ahead and like pat the surface do whatever you want to show that it's mapped onto the image angle the desk so you can actually show that your image is mapped onto your surface you're gonna want to record a couple takes of this because we're gonna actually be having to match up these images and after effects through a cut so a jump cut is gonna have to be really seamless that's kind of like the magic trick part about it but after you have your couple of takes and you shot in like a really high quality preferably 4k you can go ahead and jump into after effects and edit this so now that we're inside of after effects right here you can see i have my clip and so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and go to the very first part where i first knock out my subject so right here i believe that this is the last frame before my hand goes over the object and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit command shift d to cut that layer and split it and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit command d and duplicate this layer save this bottom layer don't delete it we're going to need that for later and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this last take right here when i'm making that same exact hand motion i'm going to hit command shift d to split that and then i'm just going to delete the first part and then hold shift and drag that part to the very end of that video so now you can see once we play this out it almost kind of looks seamless like we're just swiping our hand through the object now what you're going to do of course is you're just going to want to make sure that you of course match this up as smooth as you possibly can so it looks like that's the closest my hand will get to match matching up with this cut and don't worry if your jump cut doesn't look too clean yet right now we're going to go ahead and fix this all later so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select this top top layer and then I'm going to go to my window workspaces and then make sure I'm in all panels and I'm going to hit my tracker and I'm going to hit the track camera icon and so we're just going to go ahead and speed this part up and boom once After Effects has solved the camera tracking and you have all your little I like to call them the 3D flowers that's our key term for these points on our channel right here I'm just going to go ahead and go to a frame where all four of my tracking points are in frame maybe another frame ahead and boom here we go this looks like we have a good set of points on all of our objects so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold command and I'm gonna select four of these points so we have one on our paper clip one on our dice and then one on our coin right here and you're gonna make sure that it kind of lines up so that one wasn't actually that good I'm gonna go ahead to another point let's see maybe around here because 
the depth was just a little bit off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reselect. It might take a couple of times, but don't worry. So we're just gonna go ahead and select all of these points and boom, there we go. That kind of looks like a pretty good surface right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and right click this and hit create solid and camera. And there you have it. We have a nice solid tracked onto our surface right here. It might get a little choppy because we shot this in 4K, so it's a lot for After Effects to render. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have a frame where all four of our points are in view. You might have to go scrub through the video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hold command now. Four of these flower points on my items right here. And you can actually see we have two points on our coin right here. The more accurate points that you actually select on your video, the more accurate of a 3D track you'll have so because I have this nice marble texture right here on my surface there's a couple more points for after effects to track so I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure I select one of those around in the center just for after effects reference so I'm gonna make sure I go ahead and just select two of these right here in the center so that after effects has a better frame of reference and then once I have that I'm gonna go ahead and right click it and create a solid and camera and boom there you go you can see you're gonna want to play this out and make sure that your image is perfectly tracked onto the surface right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and trim these down and now once you play that out that looks pretty good honestly if you ask me I'm gonna go ahead and scale up this rectangle yeah it looks like a pretty good track right here so now once we have this nice solid tracked onto our image what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold shift and scale that down and trim that off so that we have the image only tracked when we get rid of our item now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to this bottom layer that we duplicated earlier we're going to go to the very very first frame and you can just go ahead and turn off the visibility of the camera shape and top layer and I'm just going to go ahead right click this I'm gonna hit time and freeze frame now with this basic did was it just as you can tell freeze the frame and I'm gonna click on my pen tool and I'm just gonna go ahead and mask out my subject now I got really lucky because we have this little carton shape it's just a super easy mask and boom there we go now you can see we just masked out our carton I'm just fixing up some of these edges so now once you masked out your subject right here this kind of looks like the beginning of a lyrical lemonade video actually it's, I don't know it's actually kind of just funny to see the actual model as like a PNG right now so now once we have our item fully masked out I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the visibility of all our top layers and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drag our mask item to the top of the layers and then I'm just gonna go ahead and select my covering all of my lyrical lemonade and I'm gonna scale it up until it is completely covering my item right here all right guys so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead to my effects and presets and I'm gonna search for CC power pin I'm gonna go ahead and drag the CC power pin effect to my mask shape right here my mask image and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and drag all of these little corners right here to directly fit the 3d object right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust all of these and I'm gonna make sure I zoom in and make sure that I precise each of these points onto the corners right here. Perfect, now once you pin each of these points to the corners, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to select the solid, we're gonna to go to transform, I'm going to select all the scale, position, rotation, uh, basically everything except the anchor point and opacity, and I'm gonna hit Command C to copy it, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this shape layer into a 3D object and I'm going to paste these values onto it. So I just hit Command V to paste those values. And now what I'm gonna do, very important part, is make sure you click unstretch and boom. <laughs> It looks terrible. It looks absolutely terrible, but it should have readjusted your image to better fit the uh, the layer below it. So what you're gonna do is, if your image is still distorted and messed up, what you're gonna do is very simple fix. We're just gonna turn off the shape layer. I'm gonna go ahead and select it and just go ahead and scale it down just a tad bit. But the reason why we're doing this is because it basically lines up all the 3D values and makes the image look like a direct match on the image below it. So if you wanna go ahead and get a more perfect match, um, you can just go ahead and just turn off the shape layer and the layer below it. And then you can go ahead and change the blending mode of the top top layer to difference. And now you can just go ahead and scale that up until all of the image is completely black. And that means you have a perfect 100% locked match. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the blending mode back to normal. And now let's go ahead and play this out and see what happens. So we can just turn on the visibility 
and boom, there you go. We have a perfectly mapped image of our carton onto the table and you can see that it looks like it's it's on the table. It looks pretty cool if you ask me. What you can do to make this effect more realistic and make sure everything blends in a little bit more is when you show the perspective change of this effect, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and hit a keyframe on the opacity and then I'm just going to decrease the opacity just a tad bit, maybe something around like 75%. So that way it looks like the light is shining and it looks like it's actually mapped onto the surface more so. And you can also go ahead of course and just mess around with some of these blending modes. And now that we have the vast majority of the effect out of the way, the last two things to do are to go ahead and line up this match cut and then just basically rotoscope your hand out on top of the layer right here, which I'm not really gonna show a tutorial on how to rotoscope. If you don't know how to rotoscope, you can go ahead and check out this video, but it's very, very simple process in After Effects. But to match up this match cut, what you can do is basically just go ahead and extend the bottom layer a couple frames out under, and then I'm gonna change the top layer right here to a difference blending mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to difference. And now what your job is to basically do is go ahead and take the bottom layer. You can go ahead and line that up until it perfectly matches some of the background and everything is mainly black. And now you might have to readjust the position of your item. So let's go ahead and just scale that up just a tad bit again. And now you can see once I play that out, it looks a lot more seamless with that cut right there. And to make it more seamless, you can go ahead and add some artificial camera shake, which if you don't have an artificial camera shake pack, you can go ahead and check out our ultimate shake it up preset pack at 11%.net. Super amazing shake pack. It works in Premiere Pro. All the presets are literally just drag and drop to help add some artificial camera shake to your videos, particularly ones like this. And now the last step is to just basically rotoscope my hand. So I can do that by just hitting command D to duplicate that bottom layer right there. I think we're still on the difference blending mode. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Normal, normal. I'm going to go ahead and drag this duplicated layer to the top. And then I'm just going to double click it, select my roto brush tool and then just rotoscope my arm away. If you get this error, by the way, just make sure to go to composition settings and change your frame rate to the exact frame rate of the error message. So it's 30.002, hit okay. And now let's just go ahead and rotoscope our hand. And once you finish rotoscoping your hand, here is the final result. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just wanna say thank you again so much for watching. If you managed to find any value or came out with a dope effect, definitely make sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so really, it'd mean a lot to me. And once again, if you're interested in copying some preset packs at 11%.net and you wanna take your map illusion effects to the next level, definitely make sure to check out our preset store. We're constantly dropping preset packs there. And like I said, we have preset packs ranging from title card presets all the way to paint animation effects. It's just a dope range of stuff. And there's honestly so much stuff you can do with them. Whether you're a music video director or you're creating commercials or you're simply creating some fun videos for yourself, I'm pretty sure you'll definitely be able to get some value out of these preset packs. And I'm serious when I say this, they save you so much time. All these presets are already pre-made for you. you just drag and drop onto your project and your file and boom you have some dope effects so if you'd be interested definitely make sure to check out our store 11%.net it really mean the world to me and also if you're interested in joining our patreon you can hit the join button on our channel page this is how you guys support me and keep me going so i can keep making free tutorials like this and heck you might as well get some extra benefits while you're at it our patreon members get exclusive discounts at our store and exclusive video tutorial content on how to use our preset packs and also some insight on some sick new and upcoming effects that's how you guys support me and keep me going so I can keep making free tutorials like this for you guys and heck you might as well get some free benefits while you're at it but once again I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video peace